Hey guys, welcome to the first tutorial of this course. In this video, we will create the project and import assets. So, let's start by opening the Unity Hub. I am not going to show you how to download and install Unity. Because, you can download it easily. Still if you face any problem while installing Unity, please search on Google about the problem. And you will find a bunch of videos on YouTube about how to download and install Unity. However, I am going to create a new 2D project. I am going to click 2D and name it Endless Runner Tutorial and then change the location. After that I am going to click create. So, the project has been created. Now we can see the Unity interface. Probably this interface is very confusing for you. But no worries, I am going to make it easier for you. First we will change the layout, so we're gonna click on layout and select 2 by 3 We will be using this layout to make this game. Because, I found this layout is more convenient. We will now understand about the most important windows. This window is called Hierarchy. All objects in the game are listed here on the Hierarchy window. Currently, we can see only one game object called Camera. If we select the camera, we can see the camera area on the Scene View. This window is called Scene View by the way. All game objects that are listed in the Hierarchy will be visible in the Scene View. Now, we will know about this window which is called Game View. Basically the camera view is the game view. Anything we put inside the camera area will be shown in the game view. This window shows the actual game scene. If you don't understand these now, don't worry, you don't have to. Now, I will make one thing a lot easier for you. Here you can see some navigation items. But, you actually don't need to understand any of them. Because, we can do all the navigation with our mouse and keyboard. That's what every game developers do. Before we learn about these, we've gotta be familiar with an important window called project window. Inside this window we will import our images or other things like audio or scripts. This project window is divided in two parts. In the left side, all the important folders of your game are listed. Now, if we select a folder, like if we select the Assets folder, we can see there is one item available in the Assets which is a folder called Scenes. Now, if we select the Scenes folder from the left side, we can see there is a scene available in the Scenes folder. It means, the right side of the Assets folder shows the items available in the selected folder. However, here we have a scene called Sample Scene. But, we don't have to understand now what is seen. We will learn about it later. Now, we will select the Assets folder. We need to import some images, but before importing images we will create a folder inside of the Assets folder. Because, we should keep the project organized. So, I am going to create a folder called Sprites. To create a folder we will right click and select Create and then Folder. OK. Now we will import some images inside of the sprites folder. Now, we will create a new folder called player inside of the sprites folder. Because, I want to import player images separately. So, let's import player images. Okay. We've imported all images that we will be using in this game. Now, we will add the background in the scene view. So, 
I am going to drag and drop the background image onto the scene view or the hierarchy window. Now, if we click the background game object, we can see the properties of the background game object inside the inspector window. This game object has some components attached which give it the features that a game object should have. We can see those components in the inspector window. All the game objects have a default component called transform. We can access the game object's position, rotation, and scale. Now if we change the position, we could see it's getting applied in the scene view as well. To change the position, we will hover the mouse cursor on the X letter. Now, we will click and drag the cursor left or right side, we can see the position of the background game object is getting changed horizontally. X means horizontal and Y means vertical and Z means front or back. In the same way, we can change the rotation or scale of its X, Y, or Z axis. Don't be afraid to play with these options. If you mess up those things, just go ahead and reset the component. However, I am going to place the background game object in the middle of the camera which is zero, so if I just change the X position to zero, it will do what we want. So, this is it for this video and I will hopefully see you in the next video.